Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Locked in Lego video where I'm finally back after two months of not posting any videos because this is what I've been working on. A complete update and redesign of my entire Lego room. As you can tell if you've seen how it used to look, I've made a lot of improvements, I got new shelves and I've completely reorganized the way I've laid out this entire thing. So, redoing this along with just being busy for the past couple months is why I haven't really been able to upload anything. Now that this is finally done, I can finally get back on a regular upload schedule and I got a lot of cool videos that will be coming out in the next couple weeks, including a Clone Army custom salt that I've got right here that came in a few weeks ago that I've just been waiting to film and now I can finally get this uploaded in a few days. So, if you want to see that, just stay tuned. And now that I've kind of given you an update about what I've been doing and uh, why I've been so inactive recently, um, let me go ahead and uh, give you a quick tour and I'll show you my entire Lego collection and the way I've decided to organize it. Starting with the very top, I've lined up all my collectible minifigures and I think it looks pretty cool like that. And then I've got some smaller kind of sets just off to the side along with my Minecraft stuff. We come down one shelf, we've got my kind of uh, old Star Wars Legos here, like the Star Destroyer and the TIE Interceptor. Coming down one more level, we have Captain Rex's ATTE, along with the Ghost and the ATDP. Going down another level, we have the Rebel Combat Frigate, along with some smaller speeders from Rebels. Going down another level, we just kind of have my miscellaneous other Star Wars stuff, like the Carbon Freezing Chamber. Going down another level, we have all my Rogue One stuff, including the TIE Striker, Y-Wing, and Hover Tank. And then these bottom two shelves are just kind of my miscellaneous stuff, including City and Superheroes and Space Police and stuff like that. On the other side below the collectible minifigures, I have my Clone Wars, like the biggest Clone Wars ships I have, including the TAC Shuttle and the B-19 Taurus. Below that, I have the ATTE, the ATAP and uh, some smaller walkers and the uh, fighter tank right here. Below that, we just kind of have some speeders and the hyena droid bomber and some more spaceships. Below that, we have the droid can and the hail fire droid and some more uh, separatist uh, stuff. Then we have the big MTT and the Naboo flash feeder. And this shelf is kind of empty, so I have room to get more stuff. And I've got some more droid stuff. And then below that, on these bottom two shelves, we got Power Miners, uh, Ninjago, and some Castle stuff. On this first side column here, we just kind of have some random ships from various themes. We got Exo Force, SpongeBob, some more Exo Force, some more, and then the rest of this is all cool Exo Force stuff from I don't know when, but it's really old stuff. And some of my favorite uh, Exo Force is one of my favorite themes. Moving to the other column, we have my Clone Trooper helmet, which I got when I was like five or something. Then we have the Ender Dragon, the White House, and the Sears Tower. Got some Hero Factory stuff, some Bionicle stuff, some more Hero Factory, and then some more Bionicle on these bottom two shelves. And now on to my favorite section, which is this nice middle section here. Because on the top here, we got some of my favorite sets, like Krennic Shuttle and the Resistance Bomber, along with one of my first sets, which is this R2-D2. Below that we have all the Force Awakens sets, including Poe's Starfighter and the Raftar Escape. And then below that is my absolute favorite part, my minifigure collection. This is every single Star Wars minifigure that I own, along with this mock I made earlier of Hoth. Now as you can see, there's a lot of minifigures here, and there's so many that you actually can't even see them all because they're so far back and like, there's just too many of them to have them all uh, neatly organized and stuff. So for now, this is how I'm doing it. I just kind of have them all on these separate platforms by like faction, like we have the Resistance here, we got the First Order here, we got Clone Troopers back there. But in the future, I'm probably gonna organize it so they're a little bit more visible. But um, yeah, I just love looking at this because it looks so cool. You can see all the different figures from all the different movies and stuff, including my seven figures here that I have from CAC. And that looks pretty dope right there. And then below that, we just got uh, this empty space with a few more things I still have to organize. Got a Christmas Darth Maul here. The CAC hall, and this is the thing that I'm using to store all my weapons. 
And as you can see, there's a lot of weapons in here, including my uh, Eclipse graphic bricks right there, which I really love. But uh, that about does it uh, for my room tour, so let's go ahead and uh, finish it off here. So again guys, I'm sorry for not uploading pretty recently, I've just been really busy and this has been like a big part of it. I'm trying to reorganize everything, get everything on these new shelves. But uh, thanks for uh, bearing with me guys, and uh, just stay tuned because I've got a lot of cool videos coming out, including this new CAC haul. So uh, just stay cool guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.